guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Bootstrap Farmer seed tray and the Epic 6 Cell um, seed starter. So I got these ones specifically because I did like quite a lot of research. I wanted something a little bit more sturdier than the Jiffy $2.50 that you get um, from Walmart. Um, so I did a lot of research and I was in between Bootstrap Farmer and Greenhouse Megastore, but I decided to go with the Bootstrap Farmer. It was a little bit cheaper. They're still made in the US, um, but they were pretty similar. Um, so I just wanted to do like a little bit of a comparison and tell you why I got exactly what I got. So last year when I did my seed starts, I realized it was like really difficult to take my seedlings that were on the tray and transfer them outside to do the hardening off process because if you have like the $2.50 tray, yeah, you can get it done, but it, it becomes a little bit more difficult when you have a lot of stuff loading and then you have to take it outside to harden it off. Um, it's like pretty wobbly and I'm starting my stuff down in the basement this year, so I'm probably gonna have to travel upstairs to bring my stuff outside. I could go right out through there um, but I want to be able to put my stuff on the deck. So I would have to go upstairs to get there. Um, so this is the 1020 tray from Bootstrap Farmer. It's the extra heavy. I got 10 of these and it was $58. And I'm very happy with them. They're sturdy. They literally look like they're going to last me so long. Um, I have this ap dusty apple cider vinegar and I wanted to show you the comparison. So really easy. It's not even wobbly. If I get like this tray full, it's not, it's gonna be a non-issue to bring everything upstairs. And then this is just like the Jiffy tray. Wobbly, you can't, it's like warped on the bottom. It's, it's doable, but it's more difficult. So that was a pretty good comparison. And then these bend easy. This is not gonna bend easy. Moving on to my seed starters. I got the Epic 6 Cell starter. I really liked these. Let me get a, like a little bit closer so you can see. I really like these because of the slits in the side and the bottom is really open and allows for air pruning. And that's specifically just so that um, while these seed starts are growing, they don't get root bound. And it's less of a shock when um, your seeds are transplanted from your seed start into the ground or even up potting. Um, I also noticed that like it's, it's really sturdy. It's very sturdy. Like this, not much is going to happen to that. So you can't really pinch this to get seeds out, but there's an opening big enough where you just pop that out and it'll come right out. I've also seen some videos where they just, people pick their seeds up from, from the stem because it's not root bound. So it just pops right out, which is awesome. So I bought a lot of these. I bought a lot of these, I think 120 of them, so that they could fit in here. So I got 10 trays and 12 of these fit inside a standard 1020 tray. So this acts as just like a regular um, 72 cell because it comes out to 72 cells. Um, honestly, when I was like looking around, I was re going to be purchasing a windstrip tray. It's the same idea as this, like the open bottom, the sides for air pruning. The only thing about the windstrip tray is that it was all in one sheet. I saw this six cell and I decided to go with that because I wanted to be able to have more room to just take one out, whether it be for bottom watering, whether it be for I have something that's faster growing 
and something that's slower growing and depending on the height of it you um put up your grow lights so i want to be able to shuffle things around so that you know things of the same height are on the same shelves so plants don't get burned so they don't get leggy so i just have like the healthiest starts that i can have um but just to compare these you know heavy duty I don't want to ruin this because I'm actually going to use these. Um, I have a few of these trays. I'm not going to throw them out. I'm not in the business of, you know, just throwing stuff away because it's, I got something better. Um, I use whatever I have. I'll probably use those for like flowers or something. And I mainly want to grow vegetables. So that's what these are going to be. Um, I'm very excited. These are really heavy duty. I'm going to get years of use out of these as long as I take care of them, but they're not going to get crushed. They're not going to break when I take the seed stems out of them. I'm just, I'm very excited and things are starting together, uh, starting to come together well this year. So for the price of these six cells, I got 120 of them and it was $130. And if you think about it, and with the amount of stuff that I'm going to be planting over the years, I would be spending that much money plus more to get all the seed cells that I needed to start my seeds. So this is a really good investment for the homestead. I'm super excited to um, use them. I will make sure like I throw in little updates here or there, or I'll do an updated video um, at the end of the growing season maybe i'll do one when i'm getting ready to like up pot so that you guys can see how easy it is to take seedlings out um if you can afford something like this i would probably recommend it but you can also hold off until like i do a little bit more of a review um but honestly like whatever you have i know people grow stuff out of turkey trays which is I do use the tinfoil turkey trays as well from Family Dollar because they're a dollar. Um, people use whatever they can get their hands on. I just did this because I'm really trying to start a business this year. Um, so I want to do well and I'm going to sell extra seed starts. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And happy gardening! Alright, see you next time guys.